using actions in photoshop is one of the best way to save your time and help you retouch faster so as you can see right here i have a couple of actions right here that help me retouch faster and better and in this video i'm going to show you how you can create those actions yourself so the most popular actions which i think everybody use is that eyes and teeth whitening action so i'm going to show you how to create um as i did whitening action first i'm going to show you how to create other actions later so the first thing i'm going to do just open your actions if you can find your action right here just come to your windows and click on your action so right here and it's going to open up for you so after that just click on this hamburger icon right here click on it and just click on this button mode so once you click on this button mode you are going to see your actions like this so first of all you want to create a set like a folder where all the action is going to save in so just click on this folder icon right here and it's going to show you set so i'm going to name this set t lens or let me just name it t and i'll click on ok and after that you are going to see this plus icon right here so just click on it so once you click on it you have to name your action i'm going to name this action t lens eyes and teeth or eyes whitening okay and um this t lens eyes whitening is going to save under this folder which is this set that i renamed t previously and uh you can decide to choose any function key for shortcuts if you want to but i'm going to leave it in none and that thing you can do you can decide to assign color to this um action so you can easily notice it so i'm going to attach yellow to this action right here and click on record so once i click on record i'll start recording so right now everything i do right now is going to save as an action everything i do or anything i do rather so to create your eyes and teeth action the first thing you are going to do come to your vibrance adjustment layer if you can find your adjustment layer up here just come down here and click on your adjustment layer and click on vibrance uh, let's look for vibrance okay this vibrance right here click on vibrance it's going to open up the properties right here if you can find properties right here sometimes the property is going to open up like this let's say sometimes the property is going to open up at this edge like this just depend on how you set your photoshop but i prefer mine right here so i just like leaving mine right there so once you see your properties all you have to do is just desaturate it come to the saturation and just bring down the saturation and there are different ways to whiten as it is but i think this is the method that works for me i'll be using this method that is working for me so if you have other method let me know in the comment section so after reducing the saturation the next thing you are going to do you come back to your adjustment layer again and just click on your curves adjustment layer so once you click on your curves adjustment layer just come to your default come to your lighter rgb and um, you can choose to drag it up if you want to i think it's okay like this i like it like this now the next you are going to do we'll come back to your adjustment layer again and click on your photo filter so it's our photo filter right here just click on it and just add a colin filter like colin 80 and the reason why i'm adding this colin filter is because the eyes are not just uh, pure white sometimes the eyes are kind of warm sometimes the eyes are kind of cool so i'm going to add colin filter you can choose to add warm filter if you want to but i prefer adding this colin filter but right now you can see the um density is too much so i'm just going to bring down the density to reduce the blues like that i think it's okay like this now what we're going to do right now i'm just going to group everything so click on your photo filter hold shift and click on your vibrance which you started from and just press on ctrl g or command g if you're using a mac on your keyboard and after that just add a layer mask so once i add the layer mask i'm going to invert this layer mask to hide all those effects by clicking on ctrl i so after hiding those effects i'll come to my toolbar right here pick my normal brush tool make sure my flow is set to 100 make sure my opacity is set to 100 and make sure my foreground color is set to white like that so after that next i'm going to do i'm just going to come to my actions again and like you know everything we've been doing since is being recorded so i'm just going to click on this stop icon right here so once i click on this stop icon i'm just going to come to my uh, hamburger icon right here and just click on it and click on button mode again and right now you can see the action we just created which is this stillness eyes whitening and i'm just going to delete this group and just run the action so you can see so let's say i'm editing and i just want to quickly whiten uh whiten the eyes and the teeth all i have to do is just um come to my actions 
and just click on this silence eyes whitening and it's going to run that action for me instead of just um starting from scratch so once the actual run i'm just going to pick my normal brush tool and just paint on the eyes to reveal those effects which i did earlier like that so i'm just going to paint on the eyes and the teeth like that you can see the effect looks good and it looks natural so that's why i like this method so if you have other method let me know in the comment section so let's see our before and after these are before and these are after are before and after so that's how you can create edited white action on that thing we normally do when we touch our images adding sharpness to the image so if you want to sharpen your image you don't have to start from scratch you can just create action for it and to create that action all you have to do is come to your actions again click on this hamburger icon right here click on button mode i want that action to be under this um t lens so i'm just going to click on this plus like this and just rename this one sharpen and click on uh let me change the color to red and click on record and anything i do right now is going to record so to create a sharpen action the first thing i'm going to do i have to duplicate the layer by clicking on ctrl j and after that you just come to your filter you come to your order and you click on high pass and you can use the readers of four or five i think for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to use the readers of about five and click on okay and after that you just come to your blend mode and change your blend modes to overlay or soft light i think i'm just going to use soft light i feel overlay is too strong i'm just going to use soft light i change my blend mode to soft light that's it i'll come back to my action so you can see our uh, before and after and i'll come back to my action and just click on stop and click on this hamburger icon click on button mode again and right now you can see we have our sharpened action right here so let me just delete it so let's say we are retouching an image and we just want to quickly add sharpen to this image instead of just starting from the scratch just come to your actions and click on your sharpen and it's going to add sharpen to this image so you can see our uh, before and after if you feel it's too strong you can reduce the opacity if you feel it's not strong enough you can just click on ctrl j to duplicate it to make the effect even stronger so that's how you create sharpen action and adjust it whitening action in photoshop so basically you can create any actions you want anything you know you use frequently when retouching an image you can just create that thing as an action it's as simple as that and it's going to help you retouch faster and it's going to save you a whole lot of time so i hope you like something for this video if you do make sure to give this video a like so more people can see this video and learn from this video as well and if you want to learn how to use this retouching academy frequency via gaussian blur make sure to click on this video showing your screen right now I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.